biggest myths actually you have to wipe out every tree to grow grass. Yeah. It's, they're not our enemy, they're our friends. That tree is talking to the soil with roots and it's putting sugars into the ground through photosynthesis and carbon sequestration. And, and the amazing thing about cattle, like they, they're walking bioreactors, like they've got four stomachs, which they can just shovel that into. And then the microbes are turning that into nutrient dense beef. Without cattle, we just can't, we can't do what we can do. So. so in the blink of an eye, you've gone from a cattle farmer to a grass and a tree farmer. Yeah, and we're soil farmers. So you know, you just look at the root structure. You just you see the darkness of that. You know, it's sequestering a lot of carbon. I've been told that in a handful of healthy soil, there's more living organisms there than on, on the face of the earth. You have a good smell of it. You can smell how sweet that is. Like it's, yeah, it smells great. You could plant nails and grow crowbars there. They're pretty happy animals <laughs> in this paddock, wouldn't you say? They are happy. They're very calm. On our property we have about 150 paddocks and they're small paddocks that the cattle work through and so the concept is that they they just graze the top of the pasture and they move through to the next paddock and this one has time to rest and regrow. You're nurturing an animal that turns non-digestible grasses into really nutrient-dense food yeah. while also looking after the environment. It sounds like a win-win to it me. It is. It's, it's pretty basic, but we've just got to just work with nature rather than against it.